Before yesterday, Glen Torren had never beaten Glenavon under the management of Tommy Cassidy. And even though Glen Little almost put them ahead when all around him froze as he played on, the Glen certainly didn't look like winning this fixture. Glenavon led 2-0 after 73 minutes and there seemed no way back for the Glens. Darren Murphy scored the first on the stroke of half time. And not long after he got carried away, Glenavon on loan striker Darren Freeman swept all from his path and almost scored what would have been a quite incredible goal. Just the one direction programmed into the centre forward from Gillingham. Skill added to brute force, he shrugged off Andy Matheson and forced a fine save from Neil Armstrong. But almost immediately, the Glentorrent back four were caught on the hop by Raymond McCoy and he fired Glenavon 2 0 ahead. McCoy wasn't posing nor smiling for too long though. There may have been only 17 minutes remaining. Then Torren only needed 13 to secure an amazing turnaround. Michael Smith lobbed in the first. And six minutes later, Glenn Little knocked in the second to make it two each. Then Torren manager Tommy Cassidy said later that he thinks Little baffles himself sometimes at how he twists and turns. Glenavon manager Nigel Best will certainly be bewildered at how he lost this one. But for the Glens, it certainly makes amends for the defeat by Linfield. Well, I really pushed the game to go ahead. Uh, on Boxing Day, and looking back, I suppose I shouldn't have played because um, it didn't suit us at all. And we were very disappointed the way we lost it. Uh, I came here today, and to come back from 2-0 and a defeat at home against Linfield shows a lot of character. We got Crusaders at Seaview on Saturday. The thing that thing's wide open now. And I think, I mean, any one of the four teams can win it, and that includes us.